Oh, it's Reese here at Media Day, catching up with Marvin. So, Mario, Marvin, you get to see a fighter in action again on January 27th. Uh, he's taking on a fellow Filipino fighter. Tell us about what uh, Temo Ochoa will bring. He, he's got to get that W, man. It, yeah. His last fight was a, a split uh, decision. Yes. You know, going not going his way. What can mm -hmm. you tell us about Temo this time? Yeah. This time, I think uh, we've been working for a long time now. So I, he's ready and um, he'll prove that um, he's a different fighter now. He's more, more aggressive, smart, and, you know, it's always fun to watch. So I'm excited for this fight. What was missing in his last fight against Arnold Alejandro? Very, very close fight. Another uh, uh, Tom Loeffler uh, card. Tom Loeffler's fan base like what they see in uh, uh, Temo Ochoa. You know, he could have done better, but you know, it is what it is. You know, you live and learn. You know, sometimes it, it's, not, it's not your night. You know, but um, we learn from that fight, and uh, you know, we improve a lot, especially in his head movement. And uh, you know, he throws a lot of punches, but he, he just needed to work more. Defense. Obviously, uh, Marvin, you don't just train just any fighter, so you saw something in Temo Ochoa that you like, something that you could polish to make him a better fighter. Is this the time around for him to actually pull through and get that W with you as his trainer? Yes, you know, he has talent, he's uh, you know, hard, he likes to fight, that's, that's the best uh, part of being a fighter, that's the, you know, for me, that's number one. If the fighter wants to fight, that is the, the skill is easy to is, uh, is easy to reach. So the skill is easy to develop. Uh, this time, I think uh, you know, he's, he's going to go somewhere. John Alimani, what do you know about him? Oh, he, you know, he's an experienced fighter and um, he's a dangerous fighter. So if we beat him, we'll be good. All right. You spent so many countless days, years here training in this gym. Does this get old? Media day, uh, preparing the fighters for uh, for a big card, uh, Marvin. Yeah, no, it's, it's always exciting when there's when there's people around the media. They're the one that's going to help promote the fighters. What do you think of Omar Trinidad against uh, Joy Perez, the main event? Okay, that's a good fight. Okay, good fight. I'm looking forward to that fight. Do you see, uh, is it a 50-50 fight? I think uh, Trinidad is, uh, is going to win the fight, but uh, you know, it, it's boxing, you never know. If the other guy wants to fight too, then he wants to win also, so we'll see. Um, for last question, what would you tell the fight fans out there uh, watching uh, Temo Ochoa fighting against yeah, John Aliman? I, I invite everyone to watch the fight on January 27th. It's going to be a very good fight, you know, there's a lot of good fighters and um, prospects, you know, um, just watch. All right. You can't make it, just watch some there you go. UFC fight pass. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Marvin Somborio talking about his fighter, Temo Ochoa, taking on John Alemán on January 27th, UFC fight pass. Thank you. Thank you.